when you will do this part, this is like a micro, smaller part of a, of a more difficult problem. Okay, then, um, so one of the more complicated questions that I want that I want to go over is number example two, which I'll put in the chat right here. Okay. All right, got it. Yeah. Okay, so like we can back up a little bit. Um, it's an equation and this system has three variables, X, Y, and Z. It has to have three equations, has to. Well, it doesn't have to, but you're gonna see ones that have to. Um, now, the, the second two equations only have two variables, okay? But they don't have the same two variables, which is not, not exactly what you want. Um, so one of the things that kind of would help here, and it's, it's, it's a lot to do, but is to sort of rewrite where everything kind of lines up a little better so you can maybe see some things. Okay, does anything like jump out at you now that I've rewritten this? Would you, uh, I was gonna say you would, um, uh, not yet. So here, here are the possibilities. The possibilities are you either combine equation one and equation two, one and equation three, or two and equation three. Okay. What would happen if you combined one and three? What would you what would happen to the X? One and three, the X would cancel out. Leaving you what two variables? Um, leaving you with six y and then uh, minus c minus c equals six. okay so let's do that let's do that right now let's combine these two let's add them up and like you said you get six y minus c equals five yeah. okay now let's bring this other equation down y minus two z equals ten do you remember how to solve a two equation in two unknown system? Yes. Yes, you can either use substitution or elimination. Is that is that okay? Yeah. All right. So we want we want to solve this. Now, which way are you leaning? Substitution or elimination? Um, we can go ahead and do elimination. That's what we've been mostly doing. Okay. Um, which variable do you want to eliminate? Uh, we can go ahead and eliminate the y by multiplying it by negative six on the bottom okay. equation. So, and I get why you would want to do that. I will just point out that the bigger number you multiply by, the bigger the other numbers become. And, and for time savings, like you might be better off eliminating the z because you multiply by a smaller number. But well, we're going to do it the way you suggested. But I want you to I want you to think about what I just said, you know, in, in the future and think, okay, like is there a better way? Because you need to like, you need to save time on your tests. Yeah, you just have to. That's that's I'm seeing that's a you know big, big problem there um, for you. Okay. I want you to solve this for Z for me, please.
I got z equals negative 5. Okay, so we get 11z equals negative 55, z equals negative 5, very good. Now the question is always, where do you go from here? Like which equation do you use? Because we've we've manipulated a lot of equations. Um, you, you generally want to go back to the originals if you can. So like this middle one's a good choice. y minus 2z equals 10. And you have to get really comfortable and fast with solving for y. So or solving for the other variables. So I'd like you to solve for y here. I got y equals negative 10. V is negative 5, though. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. Y plus 10 equals 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. Oh, wait. Y is uh, 0. Subtract the 10 on both sides. Yeah. And, and, and so zero. the problem, the issue is that that'll propagate through the rest of the problem. And, and what that means is you got to be really careful with your signs and everything like that. So, all right, any uh, questions on that before we move on to the last part of the problem? Um, not now. So right now we know that Z is negative five and Y is zero. You do not have to use the first equation. You could use the third equation. Now, why might you use the third equation? Well, you only have to substitute in for Y. It doesn't really matter. You can either use the first or the third, though, to solve for x, because you know that x, sorry, z is minus 5, and y is 0. So I'd like you to pick one and solve for, solve for x, please. How are you doing on this one? Yeah, and I got x equals negative five halves. Which equation did you use for that? Um, 
the 2x plus 3y minus z equals negative 11 and 2x plus 3y equals 16. No, you just use one of them. Like, like you just pick one. You don't, you don't have to, because you already know, you already know Y and Z. You, you don't have to like combine them at all. Um, so, so what I meant is, and I, I guess this was, I can see why this was unclear. You're putting the zero in for Y and, and negative, negative five in for it. Okay. So, so this becomes positive. Two X plus five. Yeah. Two X plus five equals negative 11. Minus uh, five minus five. Yeah. So two X equals. 16. By two, you think it now, yeah. now I really, really, really wanted you to use the second one because that saves you time. Minus two x plus three times zero. Variables. Well, you already know x. You don't. Oh, you yeah. already know y. You're trying yeah, to find yeah, x. Yeah. Sorry, what, what so you end up getting yeah, minus two x equals sixteen. X equals minus eight. Kind of. All right, so yeah, so then it'd be negative eight, zero, negative five, like the triple uh, coordinate. All right, so the next one I had a question on was example number three, which is, oh, we're not located in the chat. Yeah, so this is the more, um, this is the more, this is your test question. Yeah, this is the one you'll see. Three equations, three variables in each equation. And it's like, what do you do? What do you do here? And I mentioned before, the only possibility is to combine one, one and one and two, one and three, or two and three. And, and so you kind of look ahead, you're like, all right, if I combine one and two, does anything to cancel? The answer is no, no, not really. Um, you could make Y or Z cancel though, if you wanted to, you agree with that? Like you can yeah. multiply the first equation by three, that would get rid of the Y, you could the, multiply, um, you know, first equation by two and the second equation by three, that's more work, but you don't want to do that. So you could probably eliminate Y and, and you would just have X and Z. Okay. So you kind of want to look ahead real quick. Be like, what could I do? You don't just want to do, you want to have a plan. And so what would be really nice is if you could combine uh, some of the other equations to get rid of Y as well. Like if you combine two and three, you could get rid of Y. Okay, by multiplying the third equation by three to get rid of y. Do you, do you see that? Yeah. Okay, but you could also use equation one and equation three to get rid of y because they're both the same coefficient. And you could just subtract them or multiply by negative one. So it's up to you. But in, in both cases, you, you can eliminate y to get it down to x and z. And you kind of want to look ahead to that to decide what to do. So we're going to do this in pieces. We're going to we're going to combine equation one, but we're going to multiply equation one by three, and we're going to add it to equation two. All right. So so if I multiply equation one by three, it becomes twelve x plus three y minus nine z equals thirty three, and then I'm just rewriting equation two. And adding them together. So this becomes 14x minus 7z equals 42. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now we got to decide what we're going to do for the other ones. Do you want us to combine equation one and three by subtracting, or do you want to go two and three, equation two and three, you know, one, two, and three? Equation three, multiply equation three by three, and then add it to equation two. 
Is that we, which which sounds better to you? We can do a substitution this time. I not none of these are substitution. It's it's we're multiplying by um like if we if we go one and three, we're subtracting to get rid of the oh, y. Wait, wait, sorry. I think it's the other it's one. All elimination. Um yeah, we can do one and three. Okay. We can multiply by the four. But no, 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 we're trying to get rid of the y. We're trying to get rid of the y. We have to get rid of the same variable. That's key. So I'm going to multiply, multiply equation three. One. Yes, so negative x minus y minus z okay. equals three. OK. Is that OK? Yeah. All right, now we did this the other day and you really do want to be on the lookout for this. Um, the equation on the left here, you can divide everything by seven and you should. You should reduce it if you can. It will make the numbers so much better, but it's got to, they got to all reduce. Like you don't want fractions, okay? And then we can bring this other equation down. 3x minus 4z equals 14. Which variable do you want to eliminate now? Which one makes the most sense to you? Um, the x. Because it's first. Because <laughs> uh, you can multiply 3 on the top and then negative 2 on the bottom and cancel out the. So, so while that works, it's better if you only have to multiply one equation. Like if I just multiply this equation on top by negative four, um, I only have to multiply one of them. Uh, yeah, and that's 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 what this is what's going to save you time in this class. It's not that your way is wrong. It's that you've got to find some opportunities to save save some time. So this becomes minus five x equals negative ten x equals negative negative two okay all right now we did all that work right we need to go solve for something else and this is where you got to like go back and find an equation so this was our two by two system up here we probably want to go to one of these equations to solve for z i'm going to grab this top one All right, and I want you to use this x value to solve for uh, for z, please. I got negative 10 Z equals negative 10. Okay, uh, that sounds correct. Uh, yeah, Z is negative 10, all right. Uh, so now we have X and Z. So now you, you, you know, go back, at some point go back to the original and be like, which equation makes the most sense to solve for Y? And I would argue it's the third one because it's got coefficients of one in front. I'd like you to use this equation to solve for y, please.
I got y equals nine. Take a look here. So negative two plus y minus 10 equals negative three. Uh, yeah, y is nine. Perfect. Okay, so you got your final answer there. You got negative two, comma, nine, comma, negative 10. Boom, you got it. Now, if you had time, and you, you do actually, sometimes they give you this question. Actually, your teacher will give you a question like this, where they will give you the answer and ask you if it's a solution to the system, and you have to try it in all three. You will see something like that. I can uh, I can find an example if we need to. Um, but you'll, you'll definitely I get think, something like that. Didn't we have to do that for the for yesterday's or uh, not yesterday's homework? But um, for I think it was three point eight B. I think it was that we had to do that for. Possibly. Uh, um, I don't know. If we did that, but um, there was a question where it was like two circles and a line that I, all three only intersected at one point, so you had to plug it into. Well, it, 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 it'll it'll look like this. They'll give you a system and they'll say like which of the following ordered triplets solves the system. Oh yeah. So then you have to like. Uh, You have to try them in all. Yeah, so you got, you'd have to try them. All right, we're definitely ready for another example. I'm going to grab a little coffee, be right back with you. So if you want to drop something else in the chat, we'll get to work on it. I'm going to grab the All right, I am back. All right, so let's try with these two, which is the same lesson that you've been working on right now, just more. Kind of, this is the homework part of it. Okay, okay. Uh, do you want us to do these in order? Or do you want us to do you want me to pick one? Um, actually, yeah, here, let me. So this is that, that that was like the screen drive of the first two problems. This is like the PDF of the homework. It's one page. It's like six problems. Okay. But yeah, it kind of gives a bit more practice with like the um. Okay, so problem uh three is more like the first one we did today. I'm gonna grab that and uh, talk you through it, um, or, or you can do it real quick here. So problem three, if you look down, see how the last equation only has one variable in it? You can quickly yeah. solve this one for x. Yeah, you can divide by four. I'm just say it's about okay, it. and then you can use that to find z. So that you do that next, I'd like you to do that. And then you yeah. can use that in the first equation. Once you get the Z value, you can use those in the first equations. Why don't you do that real quick for us? And then we'll talk about uh, some of the other, other things I see here. Give me a chance to look through it a little more.
All right, I got the answer for number three. All right, what'd you come up with, Z? Uh, for Z, I got seven. Okay, and then what'd you get for X? X is four. Oh, Uh, oh I'm yeah, just, X is four, then sorry, um, uh, sorry, Y. a Y, Y is negative two. Negative two, you said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, six, just doing this real quick. Six. Uh, yeah. It's yes, that works. Good. Okay. All right. So let's go back and look at number one. Um, again, you have to sometimes rewrite this. You're going to see this on a test where it's not like lined up correctly, where it's 2x. plus y minus 3z equals 4, 4x plus 2z equals 10, minus 2x plus 3y minus 13z equals negative 8. And so again, you, your possibilities uh, are 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3. Do any of those look like an obvious one to combine? Um, one and two. What gets eliminated when you when you combine these? X. Okay, I agree. You could eliminate X. It's not as easy as say one and three though. Like I need you to be your eyes need to start being drawn to the easy stuff first. Because because one and three you just you just add them together and the, the variable's gone. Oh wait. Um, I, was, I meant. I don't know why I said one and two. <laughs> yeah. It's Anyway. a Uh, un unexpected benefit of Zoom is you have to you learn how to communicate even better. Um, so, yeah, one and three, we're definitely going to do that. And then, yes, we are going to do one and two, but one and two requires you to multiply uh, the first equation to eliminate x yeah, because because, you have to multiply by negative two that multiplies yes, yes. of x. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to combine one and three, right, right whatever that is, and then... combine one and two, but multiply by negative two. So I'm just looking for your, your new system when you're done. I'll do it as well, but I, I want you to give this a try on your own, please. Um, so when I eliminated using the uh, the first and the second and the first and the third equation, um, I got four y equals four. I didn't get it with two variables because the oh wait actually um, never Yeah, mind. just like again, what I'm trying to get you is not. I'm not trying to do the whole thing. I just want you to combine the first and the third equation. I think I made a mistake in the. I know it's a lot of rewriting, but it's it's. then you said uh one and two after that or yeah yeah but with one and two like you said you're going to multiply the first equation by negative two
All right, I got the two equation. Um, Give me the two equations, please. So for the first one, I got 4y plus 10z equals 4. Okay, so there's a problem with that one because when you combine them, this is negative 3z and negative 13z. That's going to be minus 16z oh, equals right, negative yeah, 4. So it would be minus. Okay. And then let me know the next one. The next one was negative 2y plus 8z equals 2. That is correct. Okay. Uh, 2. Why did I write 8? <laughs> All right, two. Okay, this is good now, but this it's a problem. Oh, why did your teacher do this? Um, this is question one. Why did your teacher do this? Okay, so uh, did you guys talk about dependent systems? I don't think so. Right, let me check something else here. Why did I get a teacher? Why did you teach you this? This one has a, a potentially infinite system, uh, infinite solutions. Uh, infinitely yeah. many solutions. And that's why I was wondering if you guys had had uh, worked on that in class. Infinitely many solutions, yes. Okay. Yeah. That so that that's the case here because when you when you deal with this system on the right. Let's say you multiply the second equation by 2, you get minus 4y plus 16z equals 4, and then you bring this one down. Let me actually make a letter, a little note here. You end up getting 4y minus 16z equals negative 4, which means that 0 well, equals 0. And and this is a problem for you guys. I mean, at this point, like, I don't, I, I can't believe So you, 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 you do have exceptions. This is one of them. Um, I'll just leave it at that unless you want more explanation at this point. Yeah, I think I get it. Okay. So we're, you're, you're right now, you're really heavy on getting rid of X. So I want to do a problem where you don't get rid of X by choice. So, because uh, I think this is the kind of thing your teacher would do on, a, on an exam here. Uh, number four here, one of the things I'm really drawn to is this minus Z and then the plus 2Z and the plus 4Z. Now, you could argue, you could say, hey, Matthew, what about this X? Yeah, we could do that. But I want I want to eliminate Z in this problem to, to do something different so yeah. that you can, you can see it. So we're going to combine one and two, equations one and two, by multiplying equation two by two. That'll get us negative 2z. And then we're going to combine equations one, I'm sorry, equation three, two and three by multiplying equation two by four, just to do something different. Couldn't you also do one and three and multiply sure. one by like yep. negative two, I guess? Yes, yes. You can you can do any of that. And so these are hard for teachers to grade because they there's a lot of unless if you get the wrong answer, there's a lot of ways you can go wrong. Um yeah, so it doesn't matter. They all should give you the same solution. Um you do what you want here. I want you to either, like you said, combine one and three, one and two. Uh go ahead and Combine those here because your and your system will be bound down into just x and y when you're done with that.
All right, for one and two, I got the equation 9x plus 5y equals 10. Okay, so you combine equations one and two. Uh, so this this number, you didn't multiply this number. Two. Oh, wait. Um, that would be 14. That would make... 14 plus three should be 17. Yeah. So really important that you, you know, it's easy, one little mistake and the whole thing is might as well start over. And that's, that's in the test, you don't have time to do that, but that is the strategy is if you get it wrong, you just redo it. All right. Uh, are you combining one and three or two and three now? We can go ahead and combine two and three. Okay. Go ahead and do that fourth, please. All right, I got um for this equation, I got nine x plus five y equals thirty one. Okay, so this one, when you subtract, I can't believe you're doing the teacher's giving you this. When you subtract the equations, you get zero equals negative fourteen, or no, no solution. Yeah, we went over this one again. So. Okay. So, no. All right. So the next uh next type of problem here is uh, let's see here. All right. All right. So the next one, I mean, they're all kind of the same at this point. Uh I don't know. I guess the 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 thought is let's look at number five. Okay. All right, so number five here. One of the things I noticed right away is if you combine one and two, that gets rid of that gets rid of y. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say for sure we should we should take one and add it to two. So that becomes four x plus seven z equals nine when we combine those. And so our goal should be to eliminate y in whatever other combination we do. Uh, so let's let's go with one and three, but in three, we're gonna multiply three by two. So what I suggest you do is is actually like do that multiplication, you know, off to the side. I guess is you're probably doing that. Don't try to do it without that. So this is 10X plus three Z equal two. Okay, and now we get down to a problem where you actually finally do have to multiply um, both equations. So uh, whew, I'm going to suggest we eliminate by eliminate this the z because it's slightly smaller numbers. Well, I guess you could argue ten and four aren't too bad. Um, yeah, well, we'll do. I guess we'll do those. So negative ten and four. So we get negative forty x minus seventy z equals minus ninety forty x plus 12z equals eight. Add these up, you get negative 58z. That's not right. Hmm. Equals negative 80. Huh. 
there's a mistake somewhere here. So let me take a look here. One and two, four X, seven Z, nine. Looks okay to me. And then eight X minus four Y plus two Z. There we go. I made a mistake. I didn't multiply that by 12. That changes that to eight. And that does impact this quite a bit. That becomes 32. Oh, actually, it's been 32, yeah. And then it does work out because so that's negative 58. Z ends up equaling one. You can go back and resolve the rest. Okay. All right, we're going to stop here for today.